Hello everybody, um, today we can look at, in a bit more detail at some of the youth players that have come through my youth team so you can see how far they've developed as well as some of the few players that I did buy and developed alongside them. Um, firstly I'll clarify a few things for you uh, and some questions I've seen and some information that you might want to know. Uh, let's uh, load this game first though. Okay. Um, it's Tis Scunthorpe United. I, I chose Scunthorpe United for a few reasons. Um, mainly I wanted a lower team I could take to the top. Uh, Scunthorpe actually started as a two-star team in the third tier of English football. So they're only sort of a lower team in their league as well. Um, secondly, because of this, the average overall ratings of the players that you start with are about 55 to 65. Um, this is pretty good because any great youth I promoted through at the start, as you see in my other video, then go straight into the first team at 16 years old, get lots of games, uh, not actually weaken the team, and in most cases actually improve it. And thirdly, Scunthorpe, simply because it, it fits the early conditions I wanted and isn't actually too far away from where I live. So I took over the Scun Scunthorpe and I, I did use one financial takeover, just one in the first season. Uh, the only one I did use. It gave me about £42 million. I spent just over half that on my scouts, as I said before. And the rest went on uh, a few very young, quite low rated players to start with in the first two seasons. And um, I bought these players, as you'll see in a minute, just to get going with and just to see how they might also develop. But all that money I'd spent within the first 15 months, all the budget you see in a minute has come from prize winnings and the sale of quite a few youth players that I'd developed a bit, but I just couldn't give enough games. Um, it's a hard choice selling some youth players, but I just had too many of the same position after a while. So I had to make tough decisions who to sell. Uh, choices mainly based on how good they were for their age at the time, you know, their work rates, the number of stars they had in skill and moves or weak foot. Okay, so let's look at the players by age to start with. Uh, you'll recognise who I did buy because they're, they're known in the game. Um, these were all bought in the first two seasons. And after this, I didn't actually buy anyone, which does explain why the budget is so high, as you can see. Uh, it's never been spent on new players. Everyone but these few players here are ones that I, I came out of my U team. Um, so I can scroll through these stats and maybe uh, make a few comments, but you can pause this video if you want to inspect any of the stats individually better. You can see the older players are the ones that uh, I did buy because they've been in the game the longest now. <coughs> so we've got uh, uh, Lucas Pies on there. He started at a 61, I think. Uh, we've got Willems, uh, Mbai, Fisher. Adrian, uh, Zuma, and uh, you can't buy all of these players in the first season, uh, but I did manage to get him by on loan at the start, and then I bought him in the second season. So we can look at uh, Piazon now, he's 28 now, um, and he's, he reaches a 92. So you can see he's a, he's a quick player. You know, he's got some speed there. I'll scroll down so you can see some more of his stats. His short passing is quite good, surprisingly, and you'll know there. But Piazon actually starts at a 61, so he's, he's actually grown 31 points effectively in about 10 seasons. Um, the left back, uh, Willems, he is a very good left back. He's very quick, as you can see. Just what you want from a left back. You know, he started as a 71, I believe, but he's got good crossing ability there as well, so he likes to get forward and whip the ball in. We can look at uh, Mbai here. I think Mbai starts at 71 as well, and also he's very, very quick. Um, he's got a lot of stamina, so he's he's very versatile, so he can play left back, right back, centre back, central defensive midfielder, but. Because he's jumping, he's not very good, as you can see there. And because he's very fast and got a lot of stamina, he's probably best used as a as a left back or a right back. That's how I decided to use him. 
because he can get forward quickly, he's got decent crossing and curve, he can knock the ball in. He's definitely a better side back probably than he is uh, a centre back. Uh, who else we got? We've got uh, we've got Victor Fisher. He starts off at Ajax, I believe, and um, he starts at 67. And uh, he can play as a left winger, which is odd because he's right footed, but he has got five star weak foot. Um, he's quick again. He's very very fast. Just what you want from a winger. Um, you know, what can I say? Great dribbling. Great dribbling. And so he's he's ended up as a 92, 27 years old. So he's a great winger. What about Adrian? Well, Adrian starts for 73, so he's gained 20, and now he's a 93, which is obviously that's a fantastic finishing. And again, he's very quick. 96 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. Attacking position and vision are very good there. Ball control. His dribbling is 98. He's he's one of the best dribblers. Really fantastic ball control, 95. So he's such a great dribbler. You know, he he usually play him as a central attacking midfielder because when he gets hold of the ball, he's got pretty good long shots. When he gets hold of the ball, he, he can distribute it really quite well. And uh, the last player that I bought here is Kurt Zuma, who is a centre back really. And he's obviously he's the complete defender, some of his specialties. And I think he starts as a 73. He starts as a 73. Um, he's not uh, he's not too quick, but he's he's not bad for a centre back. You know, speed wise, he's not too bad. Interceptions are very good, of course. Heading accuracy. He typically goes up for corners, and he scores no end of goals from corners with a, a 97 heading accuracy and an 87 jumping there. I'll scroll down. 93 marking, 93 slide tackle, that's exactly what you want from a top central defender. So you can see how far these players have grown. Um, these players that I actually bought have probably all exceeded their potential, so they may start to decline from these peaks a bit before they're 30 years old. Um, I'd say that the youth players you get with high potential will not, that they should decline after they reach 30 hopefully um, but let's look at the youth team players now and look at some of their stats and such and see how they compare with other young players uh, that start the game so we'll we'll just go down and look here at the right wing account era okay so you know what can you say he's very quick um, his attacking position is very good. I, I, I think with Caldera that his his uh, his curve is a bit disappointing. His crossing is very good. His curve is disappointing, but um, his his long shots are 91. So it's almost best to, to cut inside with this play when you use him and shoot. You know he's got four-star skill moves, so he can beat players. He's Brazilian. He's a little Brazilian, five foot six. Um, so. Who should we look at next? The CDM. I don't tend to play with a central defensive midfielder. I've got a couple of them, but I don't tend to play with them. And I don't tend to use them. I tend to use a CM instead, unless I'm playing a very good team who I need a bit more defensive protection. So, you know, he's, he's aggression, his interceptions there. So he's a defensive player, he's marking, slide tackle, stand tackle, he'll win the ball back. You know, he's got four star skill moves for a CDM, which is mostly pointless but he's still very very good right. this is this is probably my superstar centre midfielder at the moment so he's 24 years old and uh, his his passing ability you know his ball control his long pass 97 and his short pass 98 and his long shots which is really useful 98 long shots so he, where you want the ball to go, it is going to go with passing like that. And his long shots make him really deadly from outside the area. Um, again, he's got a four-star weak foot, a four-star skill move, and a high defensive work rate. So I do usually play him as a deeper CM if I'm playing with a central attacking midfielder. He's a Brazilian again. There's a lot of brilliant Brazilians I've found. 
Um, he's 24 years old at the moment. He's a 91. So how does that how does that uh, compare? Well, if you look at uh, Fabregas, he starts at an 87 Fabregas, and he's 25. Uh, so this guy, you know, he's younger, but he's he's quite a lot better than Fabregas at the start of the game. Uh, I've talked about my goalkeeper in the last video. Here you can see him. He's advanced a little bit further. He's now an 89. You can see his stats. Typical goalkeeper stats. Really quality goalkeeper stats. You know, he's 6 foot 9 like we mentioned. He's a 5 star weak foot which is actually fairly useful for a goalkeeper. You know, Passing the ball out receiving it quickly. And now he's an 89 at 24. Well like I said before um, Loris starts, it quickly becomes the best goalkeeper in the game, but Loris starts at an 86 at 25 years old. So this guy's already got the jump on Loris. And, uh, you know, Joe Hart starts at an 85 at 25, so, you know, he's a lot better already. I, I fully expect him to exceed 90 within a few seasons. Oh, that's totally what you should expect. And here's my. Superstar striker, my youth superstar striker. He's, he's not very fast, as you can see, he's not very quick. But uh, beyond this, you know, his aggression, his interception, his attacking position, and the ball control and the finishing there, the finishing is the key. 98 finishing, 93 heading, 91 long shots. You know, he's the complete, uh, you know, 98 shot pattern, he's the complete attacker. A five star. Five star skill moves. Uh, left footed, so you can play him on the left. Oh, uh, this is the other guy that you've probably wanted to look at. The other striker that I've got. One of the first strikers that came out of the game's use system. He is a hugely fast. Look at that 97 acceleration and 98 sprint speed. Yeah, 89 balance. But the best thing about this guy, he's a dribbler. He's got 97 ball control, 96 dribbling. 97 finishing, 96 heading accuracy, great long shots, huge shot power. His work rate isn't very good, but he's got four star skill moves. He's Brazilian again, another Brazilian, and he is the, he is the ultimate speedy striker at 92. Just can't be that. Um, what about? That's another centre attacking midfielder, so a typical centre attacking midfielder, vision and attacking position is very good. You know, another good long shot uh, player, you want them to get the ball on the edge of the area because they all bury it. They're given room. Argentinian this time and a five star skill move and a four star weak foot. I mean, how can you argue with that? Uh, 24 years old at this moment in time, which is uh, still plenty of time to develop a little bit more. He might even reach a 91 or a 92. Okay. And here's the uh, centre back that I highlighted before. He's now a 92. This is one of my best centre backs. He's one of the first players that I signed again. And I, I needed a centre back and he didn't have particularly good uh, star moves but he had a high defensive work rate so I stuck with him to see, you know. I need a centre back. And it turned out he's been a brilliant centre back for me. His stamina and his strength, and his jumping is very good, his aggression interceptions, you know, his, his tackling's really the highlight. A 98 stand tackle, 97 marking. No one's going to get past him. He's excellent. He's a young striker I've got at the moment. He's out on loan. Um, he's 23 and he's, he's an 87. So he's probably a little bit behind um, Jar Jar in terms of development. But again, if you think about what players start the game, um, if you look at uh, Jovetic, for example, he's 22 and he starts at an 83. This guy is 23. He's a year older, but he's, he's four points better off. So there's no way Jovetic is going to be better than this after a year. So he's, he's still one of the best players. And again, I think Pato starts at 22. So he is superb. We've got Sidwell there. There's another CM. I have a lot of CMs. Really excellent. He's got a bit more to go yet, I think, to develop. He might. Yeah, I think he'll exceed 90 eventually. 
Again, another player of huge stars. We'll just scroll down a bit further. We've got two wingers, typical wingers, speedy little wingers, great dribbling. Yeah, plenty of stars to be beating uh, the opposition. Similar sort of thing with Mikel there. Look at him, he's 98 acceleration, 96 speed, 98 balance. Really fast, great dribbler, 97 dribbling, 97 ball control. His, st his skills stars aren't particularly good, but I mean, his stats speak for themselves at 90. Um, he's 23, both of them are 23 at 90. Well, if you look in the main game again, you've got Alexis Sanchez at Barcelona who starts. Uh, an 85 at the same age at 23 so these are far better than Sanchez and they're the, they're the same age they're the same age and again there's a left winger Bastos he is an 89 he's a little bit behind but he's a year younger Bale on the left wing at the start he start is 22 years old and he starts at an 85 so Bastos is way better than Bale at the same age from my youth team again, dribbler, what a dribbler, five star skill moves, high attacking work rate, he's going to be beating players, all ends up, more CMs, this CM's quite special actually because he's got a lot of skill moves again, a five star, there's so much to go through, I'm just whipping through it quite quickly now, uh, here's a centre back, Tamazaki, I think he's Japanese, Yes, and he's got a five star weak foot. Great tacking, tackling as, as you'd expect. Another centre attacking midfielder. His value is 33 million. I mean, that's just fantastic. So he's, he's as good as Fabregas when the game starts at 22, but he's, he's three years younger. You know, you can't argue with that. Ingram there, he's another CDM, I don't play, I said don't play with CDMs, but uh, he's an 86 at 22, so if you look at, say, Sergio Busquets at Barcelona, he's an 85 at 23, so he's better than Busquets, and he's a year younger than Busquets at the moment, so he's another superstar really in the making, this youngster here, his stand tackle and his slide tackle are fantastic, he's actually English, high defensive work rate, you know, perfect, perfect for a CDM, that's what you want. Yet yeah, another CM. I had far too many CMs, I had to sell several of them, Australian. But I kept the ones with all the skill moves again, the five star skill moves, the four star weak foot. Um, even the players that I did sell, um, because I just couldn't give them enough games, they went on to be really great players. You can see them in the buy uh, section of the game. I can show you them a little bit later if you want. Here's another centre back, Mamadou Yaboa. So he's from Ghana. Four star, weak foot, five star skill move, medium defensive work rate is pretty good. He's got a little bit of way to go, I think, but he's he'll be a great defender. When he finally bets. Agbaker was a backup goalkeeper because I, I, he doesn't play very much, he's never gonna develop, but I just keep him as backup. Uh, this is my next superstar centre back. This is the next real star that I'm going to have in defence. Castillo, he's, he's 20, but he's an 86 already. Um, that's just crazy to be an 86 at 20 years old in defence. You know, phew, amazing. Again, his, his skills aren't particularly, stars aren't particularly good, but he's got a high defensive work rate. And, He's going to be fantastic. I think he'll easily reach 90 within a couple of seasons, which is mad when you think about PK, who starts as an 86 and he's 25 years old. So he's a match for PK, but he's five years younger, which is just berserk. Here's another young striker, he's an 83 at 20. Doesn't seem particularly special at the moment, you may believe, but again, if you think about. Uh, what youngsters, he's got a five star skill, are in the game at the start. You've got El Sharaway, who's 19, and he starts at a 76, doesn't he? I mean, so this guy is he's a year older, but he's he's seven points better off than Sharaway. Sharaway goes on to be like a 90, but there's no way Sharaway is going to catch up seven points in one season. So Bush, he's going to be in probably three or four seasons a really fantastic striker. There's another left winger who's an 82 at 19 years old 
so again we're talking about a really classy youngster there he's already very fast he's one of the fastest players I've got 98 acceleration and 98 sprint speed he's nearly perfect 99s for speed he's only one off who knows he might even reach that very high attacking work rate another centre attacking midfielder there an 80 at 19 years old he's not had enough games this guy but we'll see if he can get some more games later and this guy you can see his potential in my other video he pops up you can see that he's an 89 to a 94 and I'm going to need a left back soon because Willems is going is what is he 28 so he'll he's only got a few seasons left so I signed this lad up and he's already an 82 at 18 years old left back if you think about uh, Marcelo at Real Madrid who's an 83 but he's 24 years old Marcelo this guy's a point worse off at left back but he's he's, he's six years younger uh, I think he could be a really fantastic player again I think he's gonna be an 85 86 by the time he's 20 years old I mean that's just brilliant and again here's a right back he's, he looks like he's slightly behind the curve compared to the guy above but again he's a 76 at 17 if you think about Nastasic at Man City he's 19 and he starts at a 75 so he's better off than Nastasic already Nastasic becomes one of the best uh, defenders in the game okay we've got a right winger there he's very very young he's only just been signed up he's got huge potential but it'll be a long time again before he starts showing his potential um, you know so you can see the quality that's in this team if I can order it by overall you've got the oldest players who have developed the furthest so far you know that they've reached the high 90s but then we've got some of my youth team finally coming through here Caldera Poletta that are all now over 90 and the ones that are just below 90 are a bit younger of course uh, CDMs tend to develop a little bit slower it seems to me they do but they get there in the end um, the players that I've had to sell uh, the players that I've had to sell to other clubs just because I couldn't find them space you know even they have gone on to develop as great players and I can point out some of the players that I sold you may not believe it, obviously because they're not on my team anymore but I did bring these players through and then right at the top you can see uh, Elder Fiejo he is one of the first players that I sold and he came out as a 90 for the team uh, there's another CM that I sold Markovic I sold Vega I sold because just I found far too many central midfielders I couldn't keep them all this is why I ended up with so much money let's go down to who else Fernando Alonso I sold you may have even seen him on the other uh, uh, video he may have been in that one I sold this winger here keep going down Rivera there I sold Rivera he's turned out okay Rivera he's not been brilliant but he was a good decision and the striker was sold quite a long time ago though now he's developed better here's another striker that I sold and the centre back Rivera Aldosari you may have seen him as well in the other, the other video I had to sell him because I had too many centre backs got lots of money for him Guardado there I sold him uh, Tavera I sold a long time ago as well there, Pedro Tavera. And I think that is mm, probably about it what I sold off. Oh no, hell is hell is scared of, I sold him as well. So I made a huge amount of money on the players that had come through my youth team as well as keeping the absolute best. Um, it's difficult to choose who to sell. It is difficult to choose who to sell but, but typically I sold them because maybe they're work rates uh, were not quite as good as the players that I had so you know he's not too bad but it was this one again he's, he didn't have quite as good stars I sold them if the stars or the work rate wasn't quite as good as what I had at the time so you can see he's not not particularly impressive when it comes to stars or work rate compared to the four and the five star players that I had anyway um, you can see now how some of my players have come through uh, you get a lot of the same position typically 
so I'm trying to find left backs and right backs are often the hardest to bring through so if you find a good left back and a right back make sure you sign them up and develop them because they're quite hard to replace um, hopefully this video has been interesting hopefully you've seen the stats that you wanted to see and uh, I'll see you next time